Ukraine's military destroys Russian radar system controlling skies 700 kilometers inside Ukraine. Ukrainian military destroyed a long-range radar system in the Russian Bryansk region that controlled the sky up to 700 kilometers deep into Ukraine, sources say to RBC Ukraine. The Ukrainian Defense Forces destroyed the upgraded Nebo-U complex, which helped Russians detect Ukrainian weapons and supported bombers attacking Ukrainian border positions. The cost of the radar system is $100 million. According to sources, the complex was hit by seven kamikaze drones of aircraft type. At the same time, sources confirmed that the Nebo-U complex is no longer operational and likely turned into a sieve. The destruction of this radar system reduces the Russian army's ability to detect aerial targets along the northern border of Ukraine. Radar blindness will help Ukrainian troops conduct reconnaissance, launch drones and use army aviation more effectively in this area. Sources stated that this is the second Nebo UV complex destroyed by the 13th Directorate of Military Counterintelligence of the Security Service of Ukraine. The first one was destroyed in the Belgorod region of the Russian Federation. Also recently, the Kasta 2E2 radar complex near the temporarily occupied Ukrainian city of Berdyansk was destroyed. The claims would mean that Russians have fewer capabilities to detect airborne targets along the northern border of Ukraine. Thanks to the destruction of this radar, the enemy has fewer opportunities to detect air targets along Ukraine's northern border, the resource told the outlet. Russian's radar blindness will help our troops to conduct reconnaissance, launch drones and use army aviation in this area more efficiently. The Nebo-M is a 3D radar system that features a programmable multi-band design. The radar complex is made up of a central data fusion, a command post module and three radars. Nebo-M, RLM-ME, is a 3D acquisition radar. Russians got order to capture Chasiv Yar by May the 9th. Ukrainian forces fortify defense. Russian troops have been ordered to capture the town of Chasiv Yar in Donetsk Oblast by May the 9th. Ukrainian armed forces are strengthening defense in this direction to contain the enemy's advance, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on Facebook. Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, noted that the enemy is attempting to breach the defense west of Bakhmut to reach the siversky donetsk donbass channel. Capturing Chasivyar will create conditions for further enemy advancement towards the Kramatorsk agglomeration. Sirsky emphasized that Ukrainian brigades have dug in effectively. Indeed, the armed forces managed to destroy infantry groups that advanced into the Novi micro district. Occupiers were eliminated by FPV kamikaze strikes and artillery fire. However, the threat remains relevant considering that the Russian military command has tasked its troops with capturing Chasivyar by May the 9th, Sirsky noted. According to him, measures have been taken to significantly reinforce brigades with ammunition, drones and electronic warfare assets to strengthen our troops' defense in this direction. The main conclusion from the two-day work on the front line is the necessity to enhance the quality of training, including the morale-psychological component, increase the number of high-tech unmanned systems of various purposes with trained operators, and improve the quality of conducting asymmetric actions to reduce the enemy's combat potential, added the chief. Overall, following the capture of Avdiivka, Russian forces continue to push further eastward in an attempt to break through the defense. One of the enemy's priorities is Chasiv Yar. The Ministry of Defense emphasized that the village of Bodanivka in the Bakhmut district remains under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces where heavy fighting is ongoing. Так течет вода, все размылось, все обвалилось. 
и курью вода просто заполняется. 